Oh, today we're gonna talk about some Reddit questions. It's not always, but I, you know, I tend to really just gravitate towards that. Like, it's a pretty cool thing, I think. Not a lot of people think it, but I quite enjoy that. So we're gonna go through this shit, and I'm gonna see you after the intro, as always. The laggy intro, because of some reasons I don't fucking know. But with that being said, hello, welcome back to the next episode of the Self Development with Tactics podcast. And therefore, we're also going to go through some self development related questions today. But but I hope it's not going to be that boring. You know, I hope that I'm going to be able to do it in a little bit of a non boring way. I really hope. But yeah, as you already can see in the background, that they've pissed me off because of my fucking email that is not or seems to be not. Um, confirmed or some shit even though i did that as far as i remember check your email okay no i'm not gonna do it right now i'm gonna do it afterwards so yeah uh, is it a me 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 meme oh what was that for somebody hitting somebody else i don't know i think it's simba and the other one is like somebody else i don't fucking know it doesn't matter it's in the past yeah but it still hurts oh yes the past can hurt but the way i see it but the way i see it what Okay, you can either run from it or learn from it. Yes, indeed. You know, um, especially and this is something that I've been lately thinking about, which is sunk cost. I mean, if you have done something in the past and afterwards you come to the conclusion like, well, you know, it actually has not been that smart. Like it actually, this person should give me a lot of money, you know, because I've done so much for this person. You already done that. You know, it's already lost. The, ta- the time is already gone. It doesn't matter actually quite in the now because it's just... You can't do anything about it anyway. You're not going to get back the time. Of course, you probably are going to feel better if you get some money for the work that you did. Of course, I understand that and it's probably going to be the case. But, 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 big fat but, it doesn't matter. You know, it really indeed does not matter because it's already gone. Whoosh, it's away. It's just somewhere else. Just a stoic bomb my dad dropped on my mom many years ago. What the fuck? A little bit of a strange thing. You will never be able to live happily in this house if every time you seek a speck of dust on the ground, you sight, su, su, sa, su, su, sa, su, uh, bend over and pick it up. If every time you see a speck of dust on the ground, yes, kind of, I would say. Because you're gonna make yourself crazy. Did it work? Some people being in the comments. Did it work? Did your mom see the benefit of that line of thinking? No answer. Is that something representative of stoic thought or philosophy? Dust is everywhere and will continue to be everywhere. What are you gonna do about it? I'm not gonna pick it up, you know, because I don't have to pick up all the dust, but only the dust that I wanna pick up, you know? But of course, I mean, if it is about cleaning, then um, first of all, 80-20 rule, you just have to clean just 20% of the whole thing and it's gonna look just 80% clean, which is nice and amazing. So let's do that shit. And on the other hand, like, of course, there's always going to be some dirt around. There's always going to be something. And I, for myself, I tend to be not that organized when it comes to tidying up my room. I'm not doing that. Even though people say, like, if there is a lot of clutter outside, then there might also be a lot of clutter inside as well in your head. So if you're just a person that really has to think a lot, really has to do whatever a lot, might be something to consider, might be something to think about, talk about, do something about. And uh, first of all, experiment, I would say, if this is actually the case, if it is just completely not the case and it's just uh, some bullshit, some esoteric woo-woo bullshit. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, there's actually another broadcast and it looks like a drawing and I actually want to check out this drawing, you know, and therefore we're also going to have a look at it. You know, we're going to have a look at this thingy thing and what it is all about. And I don't see (laughs) anything. Now I see something. There's Kirby and then there's Flash and Pikachu and there's a lot of other shit. Well, yeah, anyway. Use the resistance as a compass. It is telling you exactly how to improve your life. I'm not quite sure what it is all about. I'm gonna read this one headline I see there. Why do the thing that is emotionally most difficult to do we listen to the ex. What, what? Why? We do the thing that is emotionally most difficult to do. We listen to the resistance. Resistance, by the way, was being something from press field, I guess, if I'm able to remember this correctly. But on the other hand, um, yes, it is indeed inspired by Lynchpin by Seth Gordon, The Road Less Traveled by M. Scott Peck, One Simple Rule for Acing Life, which is a video by Actual- Actualized. What? Actual- actualized. I can read. Stop. Dot org and Parallax Bruce, this is the real secret to success post. Yeah, but definitely a linchpin thing. Even though I, I gotta have to say, like, yes, it is the case. Most often it is I- I- indeed the case, and once again, I actually didn't want to use it, um, that if something is hard and difficult, 
then most often it is the right thing to do and the thing you should be going for and the thing that you should have a look at. You know, even though like, of course, there's also going to be a lot of tough things and a lot of difficult things that are not pretty right. And you should maybe not really be doing uh, on, on the other hand, of course. But um, but yeah, you know, just have a look at this. Just think about it because I, I believe now I really do. And, and yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think it's good. I think it is good, even though like, of course, every statement might not be that good. Like whatever statement it might be, unless it is so detailed that it is just excluding every single thing that could somehow happen but of course uh, th there is always something that you can say about every single thing you know always always 99 of the time i would say you know i design and make monster mugs which are pretty cool pretty 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 cool pretty 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 cool pretty pretty cool my inventions potential well yeah i'm not gonna go through this because uh, reasons Take that perfectionism, changing my language to have fulfilling days rather than productive ones. Mm. Which is, I think, a pretty cool thought. I'm thinking about it because, I mean, of course, you can have a really productive day and everything can be good. But, I mean, if you're not happy, <laughs> then it is fucked up. Even though, I mean, for me, and I'm just, just talking about myself, this is not just some common fucking rules or some shit. Um, when I'm just really not productive, then I don't feel good. I don't like that. You know, I like to just know that I've done a lot of things and that, that everything is all right. I don't have to stress myself out. I just want to be on ease. And I also try to do everything so that I'm also going to stay on ease. You know, I'm not going to do anything just the, the latest moment or some shit. You know, if I'm having homework, I try to do it as fast as I possibly can. In terms of like, if I get it on Monday, I'm hopefully going to do it by Wednesday or something, or at least on the very first days of the weekend, because or actually also in the morning on the weekends then, because I don't want to just drag it around. You know, this is really not something that I like. Also because just, I, I don't feel good then, you know, and I just want to feel good, <laughs> quite, you know. I do, by the way, wonder if there is somebody being like, I don't want to feel good, probably, probably. There's going to be some person. So how bad was the 2008 recession and recovery for marketing jobs? How does it compare to this? I am actually feeling really sorry for all those people that lost their job. And, and of course, there is some industries that are completely fucked, I'd say, to some degree, just because of reasons. And on the other hand, I mean, if you're a YouTuber and if you're just creating content, if you're doing that stuff, then you're actually relatively well off. Like a lot of people are watching your shit, even though I don't know what it is all about uh, advertisement, because uh, as you might know, if you're a YouTuber, if you're doing just anything else, they live off of advertising money. And, and I don't really know. I don't really know if people are going to buy some shit if they don't earn money, you know? And also corporations, I think people are not going to have too many corporations at this point in time or collaborations with brands, um, especially when it is just some, I don't want to say luxurious, but just some things that we don't actually need. I guess that, that people might be seeing that, which is, by the way, a, a pretty beautiful thing that people see that, that, that they maybe don't need anything or everything which is quite important. Like you're not going to get everything and also just st stretching, uh, stretching your budget and stretching your wallet and whatnot to just get everything. Nah, don't do that. Yeah, it's, it's nonsensical bullshit. Like, yeah, nah, 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 nah. It's, it's no good. It's no good. I told you it's no good. Yes. Have you worn rose tinted glasses? Have you had this issue during this hard period? I would really like your advice. I think we all had that, you know, when, uh, I mean, when we had a crush or something on somebody or, it, you know, yeah, I think, yeah, yes, yes. Then I think we all, all had just some rose tinted glasses. The funny thing is that it is also like a saying in German as well, which is pretty funny, you know, because most often if you just try to translate some shit, then it is some, some horrible shit. Um, but this is pretty cool. But I would say that we all had that. And I think it is something that's really important to, to notice and if you notice this then it's already a really good thing because if you don't notice this this is a really fucked up thing because who knows what the f shit you're doing not in terms of like the the actions you take maybe well even though yeah maybe as well because you might just be doing some bullshit for this one girl or for this one boy for this one whatever and then just you know in the end it is maybe even illegal or some criminal shit or this person is actually pretty fucking dumbass and you hate this person and shit like I mean, there are so many things that can happen. So many things that, that could be happening. So it's, 
I, I think realizing it is one of the most important parts there. And when, once you've realized it, then then yeah, I think you've already broken it. You know, of, of course, uh, you might be acting differently when this person is around and you might also be kind of talking differently if this person is around and, and, and stuff like that. But, but yeah, I think realizing is good. Yeah, this is my statement. Realizing is good, you know. I'm gonna have this as my quote forever because it's such... Which villain do you sympathize for and why? I do wonder if there is anyone. Even though I do believe that you can emphasize or uh, synthesize with everyone because you can always find reasons why somebody's doing something and you can always be understandable and be like, well, yes, this person did this and that and these and those because of this and that and these and those reasons. And then you synthesize or you are empathetic at least or something. If Wes Anderson's movies were a book, I don't know him or her, him, her, I actually don't know. Procrastinator, if you can only start one habit to reduce procrastination, make sure it is this one. I have to check it out, you know, I have to validate. Why is it always so long? I don't want to read all this. Like, of course, we need words to just... Also, if you prefer video over reading, you can check my YouTube channel by clicking on my profile. Take care. It's always the same shit. Thank you. This is a great post. I mean... If you're helping somebody with whatever you're talking about, then it is a great thing, you know? But if it is only just based on, uh, please click on my channel and, and whatnot, but oh, wait, 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 there is some, no, there is, there is indeed something that I, oh no. How to be more productive and found 206,000, a million, I'm sorry, results. I thought it's 206,000 subscribers and shit, but this person is probably not having a lot of subscribers, even though, like, of course, as I said, I mean, if you're helping somebody, then it's also cool and, and okay for me if you just ask for subscribers and stuff, but, but yeah, I think it's always like, what are you doing? Are you asking for subscribers or are you trying to help? I'm also not saying that you, you can't do both, but yeah, and you know what I mean. I know that you know what I mean, which is a cool thing. The fear of death will always turn into a fear of life. It's indeed the case. It really isn't. It, it is such a fucked up thing. Like, it, you know, does it piss me off? Yes, it somehow does. Because the thing is, um, yes, my grandma, for example, she, she's such a person um, that I love my grand, grandma, by the way. Uh, both my grandparents, I really like them. But even though I, I just, I'm not seeing them very often, especially in these times, obviously, because of... Uh, health reasons and security reasons and stuff but um uh, but but yeah you know i'm in school i'm at home and i have to do my stuff and i forget about things and, and whatnot i don't have to explain that but the thing is um whatever the fuck you ca whatever the fuck you're doing she will always find a reason why you should not be doing it you know i've been playing soccer as you might know or as somebody might know and she always said like no please don't do that you can hurt yourself please don't do this please don't do that you know it's always some some sort of an, an, an anxious feeling that you're having and this is fucked up because you can't enjoy anything if you always just focus on the stuff that could go wrong at least maybe in other people i don't know if, if she's also doing that for herself i don't think so because most often it's the case that we for ourselves not really care about ourselves that much like we do but it's something different if you have to quote unquote care about somebody else. You know, then it's gonna be like, uh, I play your fucking mother and I'm your father as well. I'm actually also your grandma um, and your aunt as well. You know, you're gonna get, I'm just gonna take care of everything that you do and stuff like it is indeed the case. Um, which, which by the way also leads to thinking about other people when you think about yourself as a tactic to just care more about yourself. You know, in terms of like, okay, um, what would I do if I would actually try to help somebody else and not myself, you know, what would I be doing? Then, um, yes, then, then, then you might be helping yourself a little tiny bit more than usually. Maybe, 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 M maybe, you know, not for sure, just maybe, just maybe, you know, if you're trying to get new... <laughs> Um, if you are trying to get a new hobby while on quarantine, Logic and, Ab Logic and Ableton are free for 90 days. Yes, make some music. It's a pretty cool thing. I've actually also started, I don't want to say that, like I'm not making beats, I'm only rapping on beats and I'm just, you know, downloading some free beats from the web. Uh, there's actually a lot of good beats, there's in general a lot of free beats, but, but I do really have to work on that craft. But it is just something cool to learn, you know, to just understand why is the compressor doing this? What equalizer should I be using? How do I get rid of this and that? Which is also, also by the way, a good thing for the podcast because um, I also have to edit it, the podcast, so the audio of the podcast and, and just the audio in general and knowing how to do that well and how to, for example, get rid of just uh, resonances, room resonance. 
if it is collected, I hope. I'm actually not quite sure. Uh, and all this stuff, there's, there's a few things, you know? Um, but I would actually also say, like, uh, drawing, marketing, reading in general, um, also, like, getting to know people in terms of, like, just hitting them up on social media, uh, just hundreds of people and whatnot, you could be doing this. Then, uh, of course, what could you do as well? You, you could design something. I think drawing, I've already said that. Just in general, making something, I guess. Also business. Like, you could just have a look at different business models. You could learn economic stuff. Like, there's really a lot of things you could be doing, or we all could be doing. The mental models of stoicism. Long-form content. It's actually pretty nice that they also say that, like... You know, because some people are going to be like, well, I really want to have that. Um, even though it's not that long. Is your eye okay? I hope his eye was okay. And he also said, I think it's okay. Looking for feedback on our Indiegogo campaign for payments platform produced product that helps reduce socioeconomic inequality. I'm not going to head right into this. Today I learned four teens with vaginal aplasia born with, oh, born without a female uh sex organ do you say that i don't know received uh implants grown in a lab using their own vulva tissue biopsies or biopsies and pelvic scans later all reported normal arousal lubrication intercourse orgasm and whatnot which is really cool motherfuckers two women were able to have the um vagina connected to the uterus for reproduction which is a fucking nice thing bbc actually said that which is really cool thing like if you, i mean if you're born just uh without any uh, without limbs in general as well but but also in just in this case like this is a really fucked up thing if you're not able to just feel such a lot of things experience such a lot of things uh, and what do you actually can take a piston i wonder or is it just only a hole that just you're not having the exterior but what, what are, i have questions too many of them but it's it's amazing. Like I loved it. I loved that we were able to just get really ahead with science and with just helping people and stuff. Like this is just top tier fucking shit. I enjoyed it so much. How do you find something to like about you? How do I find something to like about myself? We all have done something good. And just going for that, I think, you know? Which is by the way, I'm at this point in time listening to a book called uh, psychological cybernetics or something i'm not quite sure it's actually a pretty cool book and it seems to be a case that uh, people like tony robbins and six sigla based their thoughts on this book and also their their the things that they are doing and all these things uh, which is pretty cool because they're pretty good and so it is actually uh, it's actually all about imagining oneself or the self-image as they say which uh, and, and one tactic for that is for example just thinking about the things that, that that you did good instead of just the things you could do better. I know what did you do good? You know, I, for example, I don't know. I could say I've done just over 800. Well, yeah, at this point I have over 800, 800 podcast episodes, which is quite something. You know, it's quite a lot of work. You know, but we actually want to calculate that 700 times. Let's go for 20 minutes because it's not always 14,000 minutes. 40. I, I, oh, I'm sorry. I, 800. 16,000 minutes. I do wonder what 16,000 divided by... Should I divide it by 24 then? I think... No, by 60. Then I have the hours, isn't it? Yes. There's 266 hours. Is it enough to be a pro? I actually don't think so. Even though, like, it is indeed a lot of time. I know, I'm not gonna lie. But, 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 but yeah, do this. And, and yeah, I actually also just saw that. Today I learned Dr. Phil lost his license to practice... Uh, psychology in 2006 therefore all guests on his tv show must sign a contract stating they are only there to receive advice from an individual and not a psychologist well 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 interesting but he still can do things you know there's a relevant quote as well in 2002 the california board of psychology determined that mcgraw did not need his license for the purposes of his show because he was doing more entertainment than psychology yeah I think, I mean, we all get that problem. It's just, why is it not working? I hope that everything is fine. Yes, there was a famous press conference with The Undertaker and Kristen Withman, then governor of New Jersey. Oh, it's like how Vince, or Vice, now Vince McHahan had to officially admit that uh, WWE, I'm sorry, is not a sport, but a made-up drama or or else get sanctioned and taxed by state's athletic authorities for hosting events in the state. Wow. 
like uh, yeah of course like there's a lot of tax issues there and, and legal issues and shit like always the case but you know of course some, some some shit is just annoying and unnecessary but on the flip side there is also a lot of good things about things in general but yeah i i think i don't know what's going on there i hope that everything is working fine i hope that the recording is still intact and everything is working and i'm gonna do my hair i've actually gotten pretty used to just having my hair like this and it's also just relatively comfortable since i'm not having my fucking hair in my fucking face which is good really good indeed and so yeah the question of today it's actually working the question of today is do you have any questions? If you have any questions, please just hit me up. You can also just write me a private message on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or wherever. And I'm all going to answer that. But you, you can also, if this is possible, tag me on, on uh, Reddit. Because I'm at this point, I'm not having a subreddit. And I am also, I, I thought about it actually. But it just takes some time. You know, it, it indeed takes some time to do so. But yeah, I could actually, if I have to cut my hair. Then I'm probably just gonna just cut them off and that's quite it then, I guess. Just some undercut shit. But yeah, anyway, thank you very, 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 very much for the intention. I know I really, truly appreciate that and I'm hopefully gonna see you the next time. So I wish you the best health, of happiness and also success and also hope that you're gonna remind yourself and you're gonna be remembered, which basically means your legacy and basically means just being a nice person then being remembered as a nice person. But yeah, three other questions that I have for you are... Why are you here? What are you trying to change? And what is bothering you the most? These three questions are hopefully going to show you your purpose and maybe even a business idea, which is a nice thing, a really nice thing. But yeah, hopefully we're going to see you the next time. So bye-bye and really thank you. I hope you're fine. Hope your family is fine. I hope all are healthy. And as I said, if there's something, please hit me up. I'll uh, just hopefully going to answer. I probably will. But yeah, I'm going to see you.